Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing if my robotic hamster is smart enough to solve mazes on its own. So I have it in this hamster ball here and it's going to try to solve the maze and we're going to increase the complexity and see if it can actually solve a maze on its own. Now what's most amazing about this ball that never gets stuck and can solve mazes is how simple it actually is. So all that's inside of it is a weight that spins around in a circle. So if you're holding the ball and stopping it from spinning, then the inside of it just spins and flips that weight around in a circle like that. So it just rotates that weight and it kind of wobbles back and forth. It changes its center of gravity. But if you don't hold on to the ball and allow it to roll, then it will go forward. But you notice that as soon as it hits a wall, it's like the ball gets stopped, so the weight keeps moving, but then it changes the center of gravity, so it makes the ball roll the other direction. So no matter which direction it's going, it just keeps changing its direction. It can't get stuck in any corner. So if I cut a hole in the box, it's eventually gonna find its way out. And once it gets out, it can pretty much just go wherever it wants. And it's not going to get stuck. <laughs> it's back in the maze. Okay, first let's try it without any obstacles. Your mark is set, go. See if it can find its way through. Oh, easy. Okay, it's just rolling along the side here. Curves around and it's out. Just like that. Finished, easy. Okay, but now let's see what happens when we add a few obstacles to it. So this is gonna be a lot harder because it can't just follow the wall to get out. Okay, let's start them. Three, two, one. Off to the races. Back to the start. Now what's happening here is you'll notice that it's not solving this maze very intelligently. In fact, sometimes it's almost at the finish line and then it completely reverses, goes all the way back to the start. Whoa, made it through. <laughs> there it goes. See if we can get to the finish line. And done. Ding, ding, ding. Still going, <laughs> wants back in. <laughs> What's interesting about this is that even though it's a completely unintelligent device, when we look at it from afar, it seems like it's intelligent. If you look at it, you would maybe think that there's a mouse in it when you saw it, or a hamster or something making those decisions. Especially when it gets stuck in a corner and then backs out and goes the other direction, you think that it's making intelligent decisions to decide to go that way, when in reality, it's completely unintelligent, just a simple mechanism turning around in a circle. You'd probably just guess that it can't see the bigger picture so it doesn't know which direction to go. So if you're wondering what this is called, it's called a squiggle ball. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.